Factory resetting a PC is a drastic step, but it can solve lingering problems or prepare your computer for the sale. Now, before proceeding, let me give you a quick overview that what factory reset is. And basically, a factory reset is a step by step process you can go through to restore your PC to its original state. In other words, when performed successfully, a factory reset will return your PC to the same state it was in when you first bought it. This means you will lose all your programs, applications, files and settings and gain back any of your manufacturer's programs and files that you have chosen to remove. So I will be sharing two different methods in order to factory reset your Windows 11. Number one, if you have the access to your Windows 11, then what you can do? Right click on the Windows icon, click on settings. From the left hand side, click on system. Then you need to scroll down and look for the recovery option. Click on recovery and here below the recovery option, it says reset this PC. So you need to click on it. Then it gives you two different options. Keep my files, remove everything. And if you read here in keep my file, it says remove app and setting, but keep your personal file. So it will be removing the application settings to make it default, but it will keep your data and it will not delete it. Now this you can try. If you have a bit of problem on your Windows 11 and if you want to fix it, but if you are trying to sell your computer, if you are trying to give this laptop or PC to someone else, then I would recommend you to go with another option here that says remove everything. Next, it will ask you how would you like to reinstall Windows cloud download or the local reinstall. Let me explain you the difference. Local reinstall will be reinstalling the Windows from the same ISO image that you have on your device. Which means if you had any problem with the Windows ISO, Windows image, the problem may remain in the future as well. So what I again personally recommend you that go with the cloud download, which will be fresh downloading the Windows 11 ISO and reinstall it. Now for this, you need an active internet connection. So if your laptop or PC has been connected, then you can go with this option. Then it will give you a quick overview. Remove application and file. Do not clean the drive. Download and reinstall Windows. Cloud download can use more than 4 GB of data. Then you have to click on next. And then finally, it will give you a quick overview. Ready to reset this PC, remove all the personal file and user account on this PC. Remove any changes made to setting. Remove all application and program. Download and reinstall Windows. Below it gives you some important information like this will take a while and your PC will restart. Cloud download can use more than 3.38 gigabyte of data. All right, so once you're okay, finally you will have to click on reset and the reset process will be started. Now, as I said, uh, it may take a couple of minutes or probably uh, an hour or maybe more than that. So you have to sit and relax. If you are doing this on the laptop, make sure that your laptop is being connected to the charger so that it should have the proper power supply. Overall, you just sit and relax and wait until the process is being completed. All right, so after resetting Windows 11, it will take you to this kind of page asking your country or region. Now, before moving ahead, let me tell you on my end, it took about a one and a half an hour to reset the settings because I choose remove everything and the cloud download and probably that was the reason it took a long time so once it's been done now you have to choose your country or region click on yes choose the keyboard layout then you have to click on yes skip the second keyboard layout it's checking for the update now so again you have to keep some patience next you have to review the license agreement so click on accept name your device whatever you want to click next and it says just a moment. So now probably it will finalize everything and bring you the desktop. All right. So this was the first method through which you can easily reset, factory reset your Windows 11. Now let's move with the second method. So here what we are assuming uh, that probably you're not able to log into your computer from the login screen at the right hand corner. And while holding the shift key, you need to click on the power icon, restart and restart anyway. And then you can come to this advanced options. Now, once you come up here, you have to click on troubleshoot and here you will find the reset this PC option. You need to click on it. Again, it will give you the same message. Keep my file or remove everything. So again, the same thing apply. 
if you want to keep uh, your data and only want to remove the application in setting, then you can go with this option. If you want to continue using your PC, but if you want to sell it or if you want to completely wipe the data, then you have to go with the remove everything option. Next, again, it will ask you, you want to go with the cloud download. So cloud download will be downloading the fresh copy of Windows 11 from the internet. Local reinstall will be using the same ISO that you have on your Windows 11. So in the first method we did with cloud download, this time I will go with the local reinstall. And again, it will say reset this PC, getting things ready. After preparing the PC, you will be getting this kind of box that reset this PC. Do you want to fully clean your drive? When you remove your file, you can also clean the drive so that the file can't be recovered easily. This is more secure, but it takes longer time. So this message makes everything very clear. And it says that if you want to keep this PC, then you can go with just remove my file. But if you want to clean the drive so that the files can't be recovered, which is only when, when you're trying to sell your PC, and you want that to whomever you are selling, they cannot recover any of your file. Then you have to go with second option that is fully clean the drive. So I will go with fully clean the drive. Then it will give you a quick overview that it will remove all the personal file and account on this device. Remove any changes made to setting. Remove all application and program that didn't come with this PC, which means the third party application that you install and reinstall windows from this device because we choose the local reinstall. So click on reset here and the process of resetting Windows 11 will be started and again it may take some time so you need to keep some patience until it's all been done. Alright so the reset is being done and it took about 20 minutes this time because I did not choose the cloud download option. So again, you have to go with the basic installation where you have to choose the country uh, region. Then you have to choose the keyboard uh, layout and skip the second layout. Then it will be finalizing the screen. And if you want to continue with the Microsoft account, you can follow the procedure. If you want to bypass Microsoft account and continue with a local account for that, I have already created a video. You can check that video. So this is exactly you can factory reset your Windows 11 either from the login screen or either from the settings. So that's all guys for today and hopefully you enjoyed the video, found the information useful. If yes, please hit the like, subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.